going on everybody? We're here. We are in Post Falls, Idaho. We're on the 90. Going east. East. Finally east. Heading towards Wisconsin. Trying to get there uh, Monday afternoon, Monday evening. Hopefully before early Tuesday morning, so I can get this load put in before payroll. Just sitting here before about take off. We've already done like 160 miles, almost 155 miles today. We're uh, stopped here at the Loves in Post Falls. Got some fuel. Got some coffee. Couldn't get all the fuel I needed because I'm a uh, a little bit heavy on the steers. Well, not heavy on the steers, but when I weighed, it was a uh, eleven seven hundred, and uh, you know I'm only allowed twelve thousand up on the steers, so you know eleven seven hundred, and that was like under a half a tank, so not too much wiggle room. So I didn't want to fill it up all the way and, and you know, take the chance, any problems. So you know we just filled up one tank. We'll be good to go. I'm actually just killing time getting out of here. I don't know why I should be driving. We're about to get out of here in just a sec. Not really sure where we're going to get to tonight. Obviously, somewhere in Montana. But, um, might as well just get on going here.
Falls Panhandle Forest. Around I-90 East. Obviously, in Idaho. Just went through like a 6% elevation. Going down. And they just changed the 5%. So not too bad. Just in ninth gear, about 50 miles an hour with the engine brake, just taking on taking our time. We're not super heavy, about 35,000. Since I've never never driven this road before, you kind of don't know what's around the corner. So we're just gonna take it easy. Back to the tip. All right. So obviously we're in Idaho, trying to get over into Montana. First time in Montana. Once I hit Montana, then I'll actually have one more state, Maine. Just need to get a trip to Maine, then I'll be. I have visited all 48 states. I know some of you guys have been driving for years and years and years and you're probably like, ah, oh, I've done that five or six times already. <laughs> but I know. I think it was kind of cool being the first time. But after the second and third time, it probably won't be no big deal. At least I can say I've been to all 48. We're on the way to Wisconsin. We picked up in Oregon. We're in Idaho. We gotta get over into Montana. Through the Dakotas. Into Minnesota. Over to Wisconsin. Hopefully I can get there by you know, before Tuesday morning, before payroll, so I can get this last trip in. This is a pretty good trip here. It's like over 1,900 miles. Pretty good trip. Really good scenery, too. Not really, not really sure how much longer before we'll be in the Montana. But I know we'll be there tonight. We've already drove about 200 miles today. Looks like we got just a little over seven hours left right now. We stopped at the at a Loves and I believe it was Post Falls, Idaho. Got some fuel. Couldn't completely fill up because I'm a little bit heavy on the steers. So with with the fuel I put in. You know, like I weighed yesterday and I was like 11,750 on the drop on the uh, steers and that was like under a half a tank so I didn't want to completely fill it up and run into any problems so we just topped off one tank and that'll level it off and you know I'm, I'm assuming I'm probably you know around the 11 to 11,900 area, around there somewhere. And I didn't want to fill it up anyway because where we were at, the fuel was like 371, I believe. But once you get into Minnesota, and it was like, I was looking at, you know, fuel stops. It's like three, you know, between 315 and 320, so. So once we get over there, then we'll get some more fuel. Hopefully we can make it through Montana in the Dakotas around there somewhere. For right now we're hitting I-90. See how far we can get tonight.
shut these windows. We got dueling reefers outside. Had to go change my little bulb. Doing a pre trip and notice one of my bulbs is out. We, uh, Still in Montana. Right now it's about just right at four o'clock. About to get out of here. Um, but yesterday we ended up getting like about five five twenty-five. Then we stopped and we ended up having uh, problems with the Qualcomm and everything. Like it wasn't communicating on the phone with the Qualcomm specialist and the logs department and stuff. And, and yeah, they said they're gonna have to get me somewhere to you know, get it checked out. And, uh, and actually tonight, well, last night, it, uh, after the sun went down, it actually uh, it got under 70 degrees outside. So first time in about like a week, man. Turn the truck off. And uh, you know, after like three hours, I think the Qualcomm goes like into sleep mode. And uh, when it came back on, everything's cool right now. I don't know. Last night I before I went to bed, I I unplugged everything and let it sit for about an hour, plugged everything back in and it was still the same. And all of a sudden now Unless someone fixed it last night or, or it went into sleep mode and it came back on and we, you know, repowered up or something, I'm not sure. But we're good to go. But we gotta get back on to, uh, what is it, 15 slash 90 to 94. So hopefully we can try to get into, uh, probably get into North Dakota today. Got about 10 hours we can drive today tomorrow I have seven hours coming back so hoping that I may drive like nine hours today and save like an hour for tomorrow so I'll have at least eight hours for tomorrow so that's the plan anyway that's what we're going with but for right now I gotta get some coffee. Walk inside here. Actually, no. Hold on. Where's my... Where's the Stanley? Where's Stanley? There it is. Boom! Yeah! I forgot I filled it up yesterday afternoon at the Loves. We're good. Oh, it's still warm. Yeah! Alright, we got coffee. I'm gonna go inside. Do our thing. Get down the street. Gotta get to a pilot to get a little bit of fuel. <sighs> Good walk later. Let's get out of here. Hey there. We just stopped and got a little bit of fuel here at the Flying J. Billings, Montana. Had to refill the coffee. This crap is blazing hot. Oh, man, that's hot. But, um, yeah, so we're gonna, we got some fuel here. Man, I never think I'd be too excited to pay three twenty-five for fuel. We've been paying three seventy, three eighty, three ninety for like two weeks. about 400 miles to Mandan, North Dakota. Another flying jet. We, uh, that's the reason I got fuel here because, like, there's no other, uh, no loves, no loves on the way. Actually, there's one on the way, but I, I, I'm 
I'm at the point where I, I don't, I'm not going to stop now. I just want to go. But uh, there's a Petro, but it's not to like Fargo, and that's I won't be able to make it there. So that's why we stopped at this Flying J. Got a little bit of fuel. So when I stop tonight, we can get ourselves a shower. Got me one shower credit. walking himself speaking of walking let me go walk land then we can get out of here all right we made it over to Mandan North Dakota here at this little flying J just a dirt parking lot but uh, the store was nice inside nice nice shower that was wonderful we did five, almost 590 today, and I only used like 843, so I gave me like another hour and 43 for tomorrow, plus my seven, so it was like, you know, I'm like a little over, about eight, I think I'll have like eight, almost 850. For tomorrow, then you know, take away your 15 minute pre trip, and uh, man, we're gonna we'll have like 8:35 ish around there somewhere. And I see it's exactly 520 miles from where we're at right now. So I'm hoping, <laughs> cross your fingers, that I can make it there tomorrow. If I go 65 the whole way, it's exactly eight hours. So the only thing we got to get around is like through Minneapolis. So we're going to get that where we're not going through there in the morning. But it's going to be late enough where it's not going to be in the afternoon. So so we're, if we leave here like around 4 or 5 o'clock, that will get us going through there around 10, 11 o'clock. And that'll be perfect. So hopefully we can catch it just right. And, you know, if we can stay good the whole way there. And it'll give me a little... I got about a, about a half hour's worth of, you know, room I can play with. So, you know, if we you know, get held up in Minneapolis just a little bit, we'll be all right. And, uh, you know, I know I can deliver early. It's a drop. You know, so we're just going to cruise on in to Wisconsin tomorrow and hopefully we can make it there. We, there's no problem why we shouldn't make it there. But uh, like I said, we're probably going to leave here. Leave here in the morning. Then uh, we're going to make like one stop, you know. And then we're cruising all the way in. So, uh, But that's on the next video. So uh, if you want to see what happens tomorrow, check out the next video. So appreciate you guys watching. And we are done from North Carolina, North Carolina, North Dakota. And from, golly, where did we pick up at? Oregon, Oregon, Oregon to Wisconsin. So let's finish this up tomorrow. But for tonight, I appreciate you guys watching.